tough first game. What do you make of that? Yeah, not the uh, not the start you want. Obviously, your, your first uh, well three days into it, um, we didn't have a lot of time to do much work, so uh, it's a difficult one to, to take. But uh, the the manner of the goals, I mean, for me it was small <coughs> margins. The, the goals are poor goals, and they're the sort of goals you tend to concede when you're on a bad run. So take the goals out of the equation. I, I look at the team shape. Um, first half, I, I thought we was okay, solid. Um, you could see what we were trying to do. We had some half chances first half where a bit of luck, maybe a bit more belief. You, we might have scored the first goal, which I think is, is huge at the moment for this group of players. And then um, you go from almost having a, a chance to create a goal, maybe whether Zach was failed or not, I don't know, but he gets that pass off and we're, we're through on goal. And um, they play on and, and they go in first chance ahead and they punished us. So um, that was the way the first half was. Second half, we, we, we tried to say to them, like, you've got, to, you've got to try and believe and get the next goal. But you can see the longer the game goes on at the moment, that the, the belief and confidence just drains. And obviously the, the second goal um, is, is a mistake from us. So, and then the third, I mean, I, I've just seen it again there. I mean, I thought it had to be a clear and definite handball. And there's no way that is, a, I mean, none, none of their players appealed for it. The referee didn't see it, the fans didn't appeal for it, so one person sees it and um, and he gives it. So, um, that, yeah, that, that was harsh, that was harsh, but we, I have to look at the squad now and um, we have to find a way of being more effective with what we've got. I mean, you, you can see the identity of Northampton and what they do to win football matches and, and they're, effect they're good at it. Um, at the moment, we haven't got a way of playing that can hurt teams enough. So I need to look at that now. We, good thing is we've got a free week now. Um, we've got to change. We've got to change something. I mean, they've it, changed the manager. Um, it's the same players that I have to give now a, a structure and way of playing that gives them belief and hope that they can try and score the first goal. You've touched on it. The disappointment for us. It's been a theme that we've we've looked okay. We've looked comfortable, and then we're almost shooting ourselves in the foot. Both goals from free play have come from situations where we're set to attack and suddenly we've conceded. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, we weren't opened up. Um, I was pleased with the, the back four generally. The midfield two were more controlled in there. So that, that was good. They never played through us. We, there, there wasn't big gaps, there wasn't big spaces. So that was something we spoke about. And um, that if you're going to be a successful team, you have to be compact. Whatever shape you play, what, however you press, you have to be compact. And if you're compact and organised, generally you don't get punished. And like you say, it was it was two mistakes really, and a, and a really poor decision against us. So um, that side of it, um, we know. But like I, was, the last couple of weeks, I've been looking at the, the squad and, and the games, and the, the problem of um, creating more chances. I mean, we we are not set up with the players we've got to be a long ball. We've, that we're not that sort of squad, and that's fine. <coughs> So then I have to look at, well, OK, we've got this, we've got that. How are we going to be more effective? How are we going to be more dangerous? And if you are more dangerous and more effective, that gives the players more belief. Because at the moment, I would imagine when they go a goal down, they're wondering where the next goal is going to come from to try and get back in the game. And, that, and that's a tough feeling to have. So um, they kept going. We, we kept going. Um, the subs come on and I said to them after the game, they have to make more of an impact. Otherwise, what's the point of putting subs on? So when the sub goes on there, they have to really try and change the, the, the momentum of the game. And, that, and that's why they have to go on there. So lots of work to do, but I knew that. It's not a surprise to me. It would have been great to get off to a good start, but um, we haven't. And um, we have to still start again on Monday and start working for the week for the Saturday's game. Key feature through the last the season so far is this com confidence drain. Mm. How do you combat that? How do you get that out of the boys so that they can take a hit and come back again? Yeah, you have to simplify the game, give them a, a real clear. I mean, there's no way in two days that I would expect them to really understand what we're trying to do. And um, the confidence, <coughs> the confidence they gain, is by having a system that suits what they're doing. And um, 
I think what we did today suited the players. I, I would never play players out of position. I don't want to do that. You can't get the best out of them. But um, we need to be uh, finding a way of being more of a dangerous threat. And um, we we said before the game, let's let's try and let's try and get down the size of them a bit more. Not long balls, but players we've got, they can run. They've got lots of energy. Let, let's try and slide people in. And a couple of times in the first half, we did, but we didn't do it enough. We didn't do it enough, and um, unfortunately, we, we fed their two big centre halves, and um, and they won everything today. So, um, yeah, that that was uh, that was a disappointing part of our game. That square pegs for square holes. Is that the, the section thinking of Kelvin Miller getting him at right back and getting that shape and, and solidity at the back, looking for that? Yeah, no, yeah. Kelvin, um, it, it was a tough decision on that one. Obviously, Joe's been playing a lot of games and has done well, um, but I thought Kelvin was excellent. I thought the back four, generally, um, never really we never got opened up. It was um, the goals weren't down to the back four or the, or the midfield. So um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll look at the game again, obviously, and um, there'd be some positives from it, without a doubt. But we know we've got to do a lot of work, and uh, like I say, it's more. I need to look at how we're going to be m more of a threat, and, and I want us to to be able to play and get more passing because if we just ain't teams like Northampton if you go up against them and play the game they're playing more often than not like they did today they're going to come out on top because they're good at it they've got the players for that so we have to recognise we have to deal with that which I thought we did generally but then you've got to have a way of playing yourself that's going to make them think and, um, and that's what we really need to try and work on this week Obvious question is: it, Do you think you've got enough tools in that in that toolbox to do what you need to do to turn things around and get the fans back on side again? Well, we, all you can do is work with them and um, give them an understanding and, and uh, some confidence. Because you, if you're going to try and get on the ball and pass, you've got to make sure you've got the right angles and the right support, and um, and that's just working on the training grounds. And hopefully, the more you work on the training grounds, the more understanding of what they're about. And if they want to be more of a, a passing team that um, can create and open teams up, then they've got to do it. And I've got to show them a way, a system that allows them to do that. And then hopefully, um, small steps, it's, it was always going to be small steps. There wasn't, there's no way that after two days it was going to be a, a drastic change today. No one, well, if someone expected that, then they're kidding themselves. I, I didn't. So, um, yeah, it, it disappointing, obviously, but... Um, Whatever happened today, we still need lots of work to do. Has it confirmed the work that you need to do, what you've seen from that technical area today? Yeah, it did really, yeah. yeah. I, I think I was, I was really, I didn't say it to the players, but I thought it was vital really that we tried to score the first goal. I think we would have been a different team um, because before the game they was great in the dressing rooms. We started the game OK. There, there was nothing in the game, was there, up until the goal. Um, and we actually had a few opportunities, probably more than they did. But that th they're the margins of a team that's flying at near the top of the league and, and a team that's struggling near the bottom. Thanks for your time, Keith.